My name Edmond Yakane, Executive Director of SEPO. I strongly condemned the act of adapting civil society activists in Ye River County of Central Equatoria State. We have two activists, namely John Kenyi Santino, who works as Monitoring and Evaluation Officer for Rural Women for Development, and his colleague, Mr. Mandela Stephen, that work as an extension worker for the same organizations, were adapted on the 5th of September in a location called Logo on Ye Meridi Road. Whereabout they are remain unknown and what is happening to them right now remain unknown. As a civil society activist, I would like to take this opportunity to strongly demand those behind the act of adapting Mr. John Kenyi Santino and Mr. Mandela Stephen that to ensure that their safety and their security is granted. Because this is a total violation of human rights. At the same time, it is an act of shrinking the civic space and also it's an act of undermining peace and stability in the country. We would like to demand with due respect and honor that those who have taken these two activists to a known location to ensure they are safe and we're calling upon the government to investigate this. But as a civil society activist, I also call upon the human rights organization and specifically the UN Human Rights Commission for South Sudan and the Human Rights Council in Geneva and citizen in South Sudan to ensure that where about these activists who were adopted at Logo on Ye Meridi Road is identified. And those who adopted them should know that they are doing a crime against humanity. They will never go unpunished. And these are the actions that make us to appreciate things like visa restriction for some people who tend to undermine safety and security of individuals because of their own known motives, being it political or whatever the case they know it better. I strongly call upon citizens to take an immediate action in Ye to investigate where these activists are because they are adapted at the season of the political transition for the implementation of our access. And we sit some to come out with an open and public report, but also we call upon human rights organizations that are working under human rights. We all put our energy to identify where these activists are. Those who are behind their situation of disappearance should release them immediately without any condition so that they can join their families and they can join their parents and they can join their loved ones to stay together and I hope that the uh, authorities in Ye River State will take this seriously and follow it up and I respect and honor all the authorities in Ye at their different capacity they can help us in providing a public information what exactly happened to these two activists. This is an act of shrinking civic and uh, political space. This is an act of a violation of human rights. We will not remain silent. We will follow and whoever we identify behind this should be punished. Whether he or she, whatever position she is holding, they can't undermine human rights and they should be held accountable. Thank you very much.